A soft, unmistakable reddish glow pulses steadily from the shoulder of the constellation Orion, glowing faintly yet unmistakably against the backdrop of the night sky. This glow belongs to one of the most famous stars in the heavens, Betelgeuse. Visible even to the naked eye, Betelgeuse has long served as a familiar and constant celestial beacon. For centuries, this massive red supergiant has been a symbol of both the beauty and impermanence of the cosmos, a luminous titan nearing the end of its extraordinary life. Yet, recently, something extraordinary and utterly unexpected occurred. Something that has shaken astronomers and astrophysicists around the world. The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful and advanced observatory ever launched into space, has recorded a stunning and startling phenomenon involving Betelgeuse. Its brightness suddenly surged, increasing by an astonishing 250%. A change so dramatic, so swift, and so profound that it has left the scientific community both exhilarated and cautious. What could possibly cause a star already 700 times larger than our sun to blaze so intensely, so suddenly? What secrets lie deep within its turbulent core? What cosmic forces have awakened this celestial giant, seemingly from slumber? Betelgeuse is no ordinary star. It is a red supergiant, a colossal star in the twilight of its existence, living out the final, volatile chapters of its stellar life cycle. Located approximately 642 light-years from Earth, Betelgeuse stands among the largest and brightest stars in our Milky Way galaxy. Its immense size alone defies imagination. If placed at the center of our solar system, its outer surface would engulf the orbit of Mars. For centuries, its reddish-orange glow has been a familiar sight in the night sky, a symbol of immense power but also of inevitable impermanence. Betelgeuse's brilliance serves as a reminder that even the mightiest stars must eventually bow to the relentless pull of gravity and succumb to the laws of physics. Red supergiants like Betelgeuse are inherently unstable. Their immense cores consume nuclear fuel at a frantic pace, fusing heavier and heavier elements in a desperate battle against gravitational collapse. Unlike our relatively stable sun, Betelgeuse's enormous mass and advanced evolutionary stage create a roiling internal environment marked by constant turmoil. The star's outer layers swell and contract, its brightness fluctuates erratically, dimming and brightening over unpredictable cycles. Over the past decades, astronomers have observed this rhythmic variability, interpreting it as a natural part of Betelgeuse's aging process. But this recent surge in brightness is different. This time, the change was far too rapid, too intense, and too mysterious to be explained by normal cycles. The James Webb Space Telescope, equipped with infrared instruments capable of piercing through cosmic dust and gas that obscure our view, peered into Betelgeuse's very heart and uncovered something truly astonishing. A rapid and unexplained increase in luminosity unfolding over the course of just a few weeks. Why now? Why such a sudden and dramatic shift? And what does it mean for the future of this cosmic giant? One widely discussed possibility is that Betelgeuse is entering its final death throes, moving into the last, most volatile phase of its existence. Deep within the star's core, nuclear fusion reactions involving heavier elements such as carbon, oxygen, and neon are growing increasingly unstable. This instability signals the gradual approach of iron fusion, the star's final act before gravitational forces overwhelm the core. Once iron begins to fuse, a process that requires more energy than it produces, the star can no longer sustain equilibrium. The delicate balance between outward radiation pressure and inward gravitational collapse breaks down. At this critical juncture, gravity wins the ultimate battle, and the star's core collapses catastrophically. This collapse triggers a titanic supernova explosion one so powerful it can briefly outshine entire galaxies. Such a supernova would unleash an unimaginable burst of energy, scattering stellar material far and wide and leaving behind a dense neutron star or black hole. If Betelgeuse were to explode in this manner, the spectacle would be breathtaking and visible even from Earth's surface in broad daylight. Its light would shine far brighter than the full moon, dominating our night sky for weeks or even months. Despite the star's relative proximity in cosmic terms, there would be no danger to life on Earth. 
The distance of over 600 light years is enough to shield us from harmful radiation, leaving only the awe-inspiring visual fireworks of a celestial giant's grand finale. However, scientists caution that this dramatic brightening might not necessarily be a sign of impending doom. Alternative explanations have been proposed. One such theory involves massive convective cells within the star, enormous bubbles of hot gas rising from deep inside Betelgeuse's turbulent interior to its surface. These rising cells, driven by chaotic plasma flows and magnetic turbulence, can temporarily eject vast amounts of stellar material, creating localized eruptions and brightening events visible across light years. Such convective activity could explain the temporary surge in brightness without requiring an imminent supernova. It would be akin to a giant star's weather system, with storms and flares far beyond anything witnessed on Earth. This interpretation is supported by observations of similar red supergiants exhibiting erratic surface behavior driven by complex internal dynamics. Betelgeuse's history adds further layers to the mystery. In late 2019 and early 2020, the star experienced an unprecedented dimming event, baffling astronomers worldwide. Some attributed the dimming to a colossal cloud of dust expelled from the star itself, which temporarily obscured its light and altered its appearance. This massive dust cloud may have drifted away or dissipated, allowing Betelgeuse's brightness to rebound and then surge as recently observed. Adding another intriguing piece to the puzzle is Betelgeuse's powerful magnetic field, an invisible but potent force threading through the star like ancient lightning veins. This magnetic field is far from static. It is a dynamic, roiling presence influencing plasma flows, guiding charged particles, and shaping storms across the star's surface and atmosphere. Magnetic fields in stars are often compared to the subconscious mind, powerful, hidden, and unpredictable. They twist and writhe with tremendous intensity, bending space and channeling plasma in ways that can ignite violent stellar storms. Unlike the Sun's relatively mild magnetic cycles, Betelgeuse's magnetic field is a turbulent ocean of energy, constantly evolving and sometimes erupting with tremendous force. Recent theoretical models suggest a magnetic dynamo deep beneath Betelgeuse's surface, pulsing rhythmically like a cosmic heartbeat. This dynamo generates magnetic fields that could suddenly realign, snap, or twist, unleashing enormous amounts of energy that ripple outward from the star's core. Such magnetic upheavals might dramatically rearrange the flow of energy and matter through Betelgeuse's outer layers, causing sudden brightening or dimming events visible across light years. What if this recent 250% surge in brightness is precisely such an event, a magnetic storm so powerful it lights up the heavens? A cosmic scream released after eons of brewing chaos inside this red supergiant? This moment might represent a critical threshold in Betelgeuse's life, a final turning point where the star stands on the edge of its own mortality, flaring one last time before collapsing inward. Watching silently from its vantage point in deep space, the James Webb Space Telescope continues to monitor Betelgeuse with unblinking, ultra-sensitive instruments. It collects every photon, every flicker of light, and every pulse emanating from the star's fiery furnace. With each new observation, we peel back another layer of Betelgeuse's secrets, but each answer brings new mysteries in its wake. Could this sudden brightening be the final whispered breath before the star's ultimate scream? The last inhale before the universe's most dramatic exhale? Are we witnessing the slow dance of death for a celestial titan? A supernova about to unfold in real time? If Betelgeuse does explode, it will be far more than just a cosmic event. It will be a spectacle unlike any humanity has ever seen. The brilliant light would flood our skies, brighter than a full moon and visible even during daylight hours. It would cast long shadows at midnight and burn for weeks or months, a luminous beacon telling the story of a star's death. Yet, despite the grandeur and power, we would be safe, mere spectators marveling at the cosmic drama from a distance. The explosion's energy, though immense, would be dispersed safely across the vastness of space. It would mark the closest supernova observed in recorded human history, an event so rare it might only occur once in a thousand lifetimes, a spectacular final act on the grandest stage imaginable. But what if this isn't the end? What if Betelgeuse is not dying but transforming? 
What if this surge in brightness marks a rebirth, a transformation cloaked in plasma and light? Could the star be entering a new phase of existence, a cosmic phoenix rising from its own ashes? The truth is, we simply don't know. And that is the wonder, and the terror, of Betelgeuse. For now, it remains a riddle, a mystery suspended in the vast silence of space, a fiery enigma on the brink of revelation. And humanity waits, watching, fascinated, humbled, ready to witness the final act of a celestial giant.